Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk to you about using multiple indexes in Microsoft Word. That is something that I found useful in my latest book on PowerShell with SharePoint from scratch. And um, I hope you'll find it useful too. I didn't find too much information on the internet about it, so I thought this is something that I should publish. So let's start by showing the navigation pane here so I can see the full outline of my book. And I'm just going to collapse all here. At the end, we have one index, which is the normal type of index of you know important words that are in my book. But there's also a second one, the commandlets, which are commandlets used in this book. Now we're going to create a third one. So I'll show you step by step how that's done. First of all, I will create the heading. I'm just going to call it operators. And to make it the same style as the others, I'm going to go to the Home tab and make it this heading right here. And then I'm going to write a very fancy long description. Here are the operators. And then I want to insert an index here. And usually you do that by going into references and inserting an index. That's the usual dialog, but you can't do that multiple times. So I have to do it another way. And I have to go to insert a quick part. And that should be of the field type. And I should select the field index. That is what I'm going to be building here. And then I'm going to write which field codes. So I indicate that I'm picking up field codes with F those that are marked with an O. Those are the ones that I'm going to include. And of course, there are none so far. Also, to make sure that I have the same kind of column layout here, I'm going to insert a um, page break. I do that on the Layout tab here under Breaks, and I do a continuous page break. In order to see that I actually have one of those there, I'm going to add this, Show All Markers. And then go back to the layout and make sure that I have two columns here. That way, my index here will be two layer columns, just like the other ones that I have here. So all the preamble is done. As you see, I don't have any indexes yet, so I have to mark my indexes now. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to find my operators in my document. Operator. Assign operator. This is the one that I want to do. Now, assignment, I'm going to mark that as a word. So I go into references and mark entry. And then I'm going to uh, mark that. And that gives me this code. And that is only visible if I have this uh, show all function available. Then I'm going to mark it with a, this is the field. So again, a backslash F. And then I'm going to do a quotation mark. Make sure you have the straight quotation marks there. And then again, there we go. And I can, uh, usually you get those auto corrected as tilted uh, quotation mark, but I don't want that. So I could do control set of those to get those. If I'm going to do this many times, of course, then I copy that so that I can reuse it when I mark others. But let's just go to the end now and find my, uh, here we go, operators here. And then I update that field, and now you see that this index entry has appeared there. So that's the steps. You create an index by uh, creating a quick part. You put it under a heading and a section break, and then you mark all the words that you want in that index. I hope that's useful for you. Thank you for watching this demo.